There we go. I got a flashlight pointing at the floor for some light here. Makes it look a little bit better because uh, it's super dark out when it's 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, three. we're at the gym, 3.30 in the morning. Welcome to the video. Welcome to shoulder day. Okay, we're going to get a massive boulder shoulders today. We're going to make it harder to fit through doors. That's the goal. By the end of this workout, we'll be walking sideways through doors. That's, that's what's going to be happening here. Okay, it's going to be a great workout. We're going to get in there. We're going to pick some heavy things up and put them down. All right. So, yeah, nothing left to say. Let's put her patter now. Let's get it. Bring you up a little bit there, champ. Oh, that's money. That's good. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Shoulder lifting bigger day. So we're going to pick things up and we're going to put them down real nicely. Now we're going to start with the Smith machine here. Just to change it up, you know, just for fun. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Should help more with the front delts, I guess. Let's just throw one plate on because, you know. Right in the way. Okay. Way. It's also nice to come into the gym at 3.30 in the morning. There's no one here. It's pretty deadly. Nice, okay. Uh, a little warm up. See if this is too much. I feel like it shouldn't be. No, it's not too much. We'll use it. This is like our first set. I did a little bit of stretching, but like, this is the warm up. so heavy it's because it was the warm-up it was my first set you know when you got no blood pump towards the muscle you're gonna be working it's pretty hard to lift heavy weight to start off so yeah we'll do another set at this weight uh, the next set 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 should feel super light and then hopefully after that we can like add some 25s on each side should be good okay second set kind of Add some more weight. So this is like an all right, an all right-ish set. Not like a full counting set, but you know. I just started the video because I want to hear this noise right here. You ready? It sounds better when it's full plates, full 45s. 25 doesn't sound as cool. I missed. And the whole thing is shaking. It ruined the clink noise. Uh, fuck. Okay, this might be a very fast set. Uh, I don't know how much this weight will be. We'll see. Okay, drop set. Kinda, kinda, we'll get rid of the 25s and I'll just keep it going.
So let's do another one or two sets here with just one plate on. Just higher reps, more controlled. All right, second set. Let's put our nutrition. All right, fuck shit up. Contract, react, not sack, heart attack. Let's go, Gen Twins, bitch. All right, last set here, and then we'll move on to another station. If I, if I go to failure on this set, then you guys you guys have to use code Ash and 10, okay? You know the deal. You agreed to it, not me. Okay, man, show me my... it up and down like a whole bunch of times just couldn't get back up again <sighs> okay next thing it's a little warm-up set okay let's do it now ready to go ready to go all right start off at nice 80 pounds Take this beautiful pump cover off. Yeah, that's right. Another Spitfire shirt. I know your soup's chill. I know you wish you had one. And no, I'm not gonna shout on my coat a second time twice in one video. That's more than I ever would have done in my whole life, okay? Alright. Second set.
Okay, might be kind of this workout a little bit short here with uh, with this. All right, let me explain. My right shoulder is still burning as if I just set the weights down. It's been 10 minutes, by the way. Just the right shoulder. It doesn't hurt. It's just like, uh, how do I explain it? So if you're new here, uh, I had this injury where I landed on the bar, and it kind of just destroyed all the nerves and blood flow and everything in my shoulder. It's better. It slowly gets better. It's just taking forever to heal. But I always notice that if I work out my arms, forearms, shoulders, anything here down, it always takes longer to recover. Not much longer to recover as it used to, but especially when I work out and I get like a deep burn, it lasts way longer in this side, my right arm. So uh, my right shoulder is still burning. It's been burning in here and here, and it was already burning before we started any of these sets over here. And then I just enhanced it but it's only in the front, okay? So we're gonna take advantage of that and work the rear delt on that thing over there, but then we're done, okay? I'm assuming it's probably a really short video because I actually didn't do that much. I meant to go to this machine over here too, but I can't fucking, <sighs> yeah, that's all right though, okay? So I got another eight hours of training to do today, so let's go over and do the rear delt things. And we'll do some posing upstairs, Hi. Right. Okay, okay, we'll start off. Yeah, at 100, it's a good start. Shoulders are looking quite bouldery though, so that's good. Just because we're finishing the workout early doesn't mean it was a bad workout. It means it was good. If I have to finish a workout early, it means I got a good workout in. Or it means I was being a mega bitch. And had to leave or something, but like usually if I'm finishing workout early, it's because the burn was too much. I had to stop. All right, enough talking. Okay, let's do some rear delt flippy flies. Okay, fuck SoundCloud, man. Just ad after ad. Like, holy shit. Said, don't you worry. Okay, we have the weight to 160 pounds. Uh, last set was 100, so we're up 60 pounds. Uh, it's gonna be a lot. A uh, little tip, all right? How I always go to failure. This is how you should view it. It'll help you pretty much push to failure every single time, all right? So imagine you have this many muscle fibers that you gotta work out. And then the more of them that you work out, the more of them that'll have to recover. And when they recover, they come back to you stronger. So it's like, every time you like do a rep, it burns a little bit of the muscle fibers. And the more you burn, is the more you're like giving up. And then after that, all those muscle fibers come back a little bit stronger than before. So imagine if you just did 10 reps, it wasn't that hard. Just a little bit of muscle fibers, okay? But then you did 20 and it's burning and it's burning and the more and more and more it burns all the way up until you've used every single fucking fiber in that muscle. The next day or two days or three days, however long it takes for it to recover, it'll come, they will all come back much stronger. But if you only did 10 reps, then you wait a little bit in between the set, they recover 10 reps, wait a little bit, 10 reps, wait a little bit, 10 reps, then you kind of slowly work your way, but you'll, you can never make it to using all of the muscle fibers unless you do your maximum potential. But the more you use, the longer it takes to recover. That's why you gotta really spread it out. Like, you can use all the science-based lifting you want, and I don't disagree with it. Obviously, it's not wrong, but like, at the end of the day, no matter how much you know about lifting weights, it just, it all matters about how hard you actually work when you're in the gym lifting the weights. It doesn't matter about how much knowledge you have about picking them up and putting them down. It's about how much you're willing to put out when you're actually picking up the fucking weight. Okay. Ah, let's put out now. Holy fuck. I'm done, honestly, with SoundCloud. Holy, never again. They should have some sort of setting on that fucking app that tells the app, 
Hey, this guy's been paused for the last half hour. He actually hasn't been listening to our app. But uh, the second he presses next, let's play a 30 second ad. Oh, that makes me so fucking mad. 160 pounds, 160 pounds. Stupid fucking ads. Ah. It's too light. That is actually just too light. Let's just go back to the other one. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, uh, deeper, deeper, deeper. Fuck, fuck. That was good. See? Use every single muscle fiber we had. Now it's gonna take longer to recover, but when it recovers, it will come back stronger. Oh, but that's not the scientific. Look at me. I'm fucking huge. Science, science, oh, I need I need my polygraph. Uh, I'd like to apologize for my actions. I got a little out of hand there. I was just watching some Instagram reels before I came in here, and coincidentally it was a lot of those stupid uh, bait ones, rage bait ones. That pissed me off. It was, this is a good workout. We're done. I'm fucking, my shoulders are on fire. The shoulder workouts are always a little bit shorter. Just because my shoulders are weak, pathetic little pieces of shit. And that's okay. That's why we do the shoulder workout, to make them stronger. Obviously, they're not weak as fuck, but just compared to everything else, I just have lots of shoulder issues because of my sport. Uh, if you don't understand my sport, let's uh, just take rings, for example. You're just fucking swinging like that with maximum tension of all your body weight pulling down on your shoulder while you're ripping it back and forth. Same with the high bar, holding it here, arching all the way back there, yeah. And you wonder why gymnast shoulders are fucked up? That's why, because they flail them around like they're fucking elastics. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's hit a little one, two in the mirror and then let's get the hell out of here. I looked at the clock, we were still here for the whole hour and a half, like we normally are. I don't know how I do it, but I always manage to make the workout still like a good solid workout. I thought it was like, like when my shoulders were burning, I thought they were burning earlier than they're supposed to, but I guess it was like a regular workout. It just felt shorter. Yeah, I really don't care much to see my shoulder pump. Uh, lots of people love back workout and shoulder workouts and like seeing that pump. It's really, I don't know, I just don't. I don't care too much. I just need to get a thumbnail. That's pretty much it. Then we can put my shirt back on. Uh, maybe that. Move over a little bit to more in the middle. If I go.
I don't know. Okay, yeah, we're done. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. I don't really care to see my pump for shoulder workout. Shoulders is just to work the shoulders, just to help with the shoulder pain towards my sport. I think it is. Feels like it is, but yeah. That's it for this video. If you watched the full video and enjoyed it, glad to hear that. If you watched the full video, let's comment the word raw. Because my raw gear bag. R-A-W, raw. All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye, love you.